guys, today is Bugs World and today we're gonna open a, this experiment that it has 20 experiments. Yep, so we're gonna be doing a, um, a video about the Brainy Beaker Science Kit. Someone brought this for my birthday. Mm -hmm. This is one of your um, birthday gifts. So we're gonna open up the box. We can let everyone do the review with us. Yep. Okay. And got these. This is this is for you can buy someone can this is you can buy it or this is on the uh, you can um we gotta buy it on something. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's inside. Um this looks like a volcano form. No, that looks like a hat. Yeah, but I think that's something you make volcanoes out of. Hello, I'm a hat. There's glue. Glue, okay. Um, there's some kind of sticky pads. Yep. We have test tubes. We have tubing. These are our food coloring. Yep, get that right. And these are, um, it's a holder, like a beaker holder. For this, these. Yep, this is a funnel. What's a funnel? A funnel, this is something that helps you pour um, something into like a smaller container. Okay, hold on. Oh, cool. And then look, there's a scientist badge in here that you can um, put a picture and put your name. You can have your very own scientist badge. This is cool. String. These are bags. Foaming agent. Pa different powders. Pops citric acid. Popsicle sticks. Oh, yeah, that's a, it's a stirrer. That's probably just stir something. Um, a spoon. What's this? Oh, let me see. Flour. No, baking soda. What? <laughs> oh, so it looks like flour. And this is urea, which looks like salt. No. Oh, and then this is cool. This is... Um, no, rare. it doesn't look like salt because it's, it's like little balls. It's a little bigger, but this is cool. So you can make your own sciences batch. So when we're done with all of our experiments... We can make books his very own science is bad. And guys, um, one day I'm going to make a video when we're done with my Monster Number Blocks book. We're going to make a video of that. Yeah. So we have some stay, more. So, so stay watching because we are going to be, um, we're okay. going to make 64, um, we're going to make 64 we're gonna make 64 videos, and guys, this is a cool video of my number blocks that doesn't have face. So we can talk about number blocks when we do that video. Yeah. So we have other review videos that we're gonna do, other things that we bought. Okay, I don't think you should smash that up, and you need to get closer so you can be in the video. Okay, so this is the Science Kid Experiment book. So it has the different science experiments that you can do in it. So we're gonna pick out. Two. One, well, we'll do one video with one and then we'll do another video with another. And Bugs has made the volcano mold of hats. So, I did kind of look this up online to kind of see which experiments we could do that were sort of easy, you know, for our video. So, we're going to make a lava lamp. This is a yo-yo. This is actually a yo-yo. So, we're going to make a lava lamp. So the supplies that we're gonna need, Brandon. Let's. So we need the coloring agent, which is the, the food coloring. So oh yes, it is. That. Okay, so put that to the side because we need that. We're gonna need this. This is the coloring agent. We're gonna need the foaming agent. Okay, I'm gonna get it. Okay, so hold that up. Show them what it looks like. Turn it around so they can see it. Yeah, that's the foaming agent. We need the glow in the dark powder. Uh. That's not glowing in the dark. Wait a minute, baby. Citrus acid, urea, baking soda. Hmm. Where is it? Is it this? No, I think those are sticky things. We'll find it. And then we need the yellow measuring spoon. So we gotta open that up and take out the yellow measuring spoon. So, and then the supply, that, so it also tells you the supplies from the kit, and then it tells you the supplies you need from home. 
So the only thing we need from home is water, which everyone has. Oil, which can just be like your basic cooking oil, canola, vegetable, whatever you use. And an empty water bottle. So, so we have, have those three things. So we're going to get those three things from home and the supply stuff. We're going to get it all together and we'll be right back to make the lava lamp. Okay. Hold on. Let's get this. Okay. We got everything that we need and this is what it looks like. That is the glow in the dark powder. Glow in the dark. Yeah. It's glow in the dark powder. And then we have the coloring agent. So which color do you want your lava lamp to be? Do you want it to be blue or do you want it to be red? Um, blue. Because really? that's my favorite color. All right. So blue. And then... Do I gotta open it? Nope. Well, not right now. And then we had our... Where's the foaming agent? The stuff that was by you, baby. By what? The foaming agent. The foam? Yeah, the little tablet. Here they are. Okay. Okay, so we have coloring agent, foaming agent, glow in the dark powder, and hold up the yellow measuring spoon. There. And then we have a cup of water, oil. oil. We're just going to use some vegetable oil. And we have our empty water bottle. So the first step says pour a few drops of coloring agent into your bottle. Yep. So open it up. How? Here, just twist it. Yeah. There you go. Let's finish checking it out. Okay. Um, so I'll squeeze. How about I do four? Okay. You can do four or you can do six because you just turned six. One. I see now. Here, let me see. Let me see. Two, three, four, five. Six. Six. There okay. we go. So we have some of the coloring agent at the bottom of the bottle. So where's instruction number two, Brandon? Instruction number two. So pour water into the bottle until it's one fifth full. So we're gonna have to guesstimate if we divided this into fives. Five. So that'd be about this is a twenty ounce or a sixteen ounce bottle. Yeah. Sixteen ounce bottle. So I would say maybe we need to fill it up to about here with water. That'd be about a fifth. You guys oh, agree about right there? Yes. That, yeah, that may be about a fifth. Can you do it? Okay, so I'm going to pour some water into a little measuring cup to help Brandon pour it into the bottle better. Okay, okay how would I do that? So, how would I know? So take, take it right there. Take your time. Hold on. You got to do it slow. Both hands, honey, because you're going to spill it everywhere. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, pour a little more. Okay. That's not enough. That's not enough, so let's put some more water into our little measuring cup. Okay. Okay. Both hands, honey. You probably have to use both hands to get you better control over the cup. All right, let's slow down and see. Oh, we need some more. Here, come on. There's more. I see that's enough. I don't think that's a fifth. I think we need to go up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. That's not enough. No. Let's see. Okay. A little bit more. Some more. You're like one. A little bit more. Oh, God. We're almost to that line. All right, I think we're close enough. That looks like about a fifth. Okay. Okay, so what is instruction number three? Okay. We're fine at instruction three. It says pour oil into the bottle until it's three-fifths full. What? So I think we have to go up about one, two. Because three-fifths is more, it means more than half. So we need to, so halfway through the bottle will be about here. So we probably need to come about here with the oil. So that's a lot of oil. So I'm going to do it because oil is really, can be really... Exhausted? <laughs> no, oily and messy. So I don't want to get this all over the table and everywhere. So 
I'm gonna pour the oil in. Why does this look like slime that is sticky and honey? Uh, okay. I think we're about three fifths. I think we're about three fifths. I might have went a little bit more than three fifths, but I think that's about three fifths. I don't know. So okay, now it says close cap and shake well. Wait, where's four? Uh, oh, four is right. Yeah. Here. So four four says close cap and shake well. So I'm gonna close the cap really tight. I and I'm wanna gonna shake it. Okay, so you gotta do everything. You let everyone see you shake, 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 shake. It's gonna be like green. Shake. You gotta shake it up. There you go. Now we're talking. Now you're shaking. Now you're doing it. Why shake, does it shake, look shake. like green? Shake, shake. What do you think? It's because the oil is what color? Yellow. And the drops are what color? Blue. And blue and yellow make green. So it's giving it a greenish look. All right. I think I think I think we did enough shaking. Okay. The screen. Okay. Um, so so let's 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 get back to this. Number five says add a few squeezes of glow in the dark potion to the bottle for some extra magic. Oh, I am. Can I do it? Oh, sure. So let's. Here. I know why you couldn't twist it because they're they're all sealed because it's brand new. Oh. Okay, here you go. How many times? Um, it says a few, so let's do three. One, two, three. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Because we there's other experiments that also call for this glow in the dark magic stuff. So we want to save it. Okay, so what's number six? It says put off five foaming. Agents into the bottle and wait a minute. Oh my god, we gotta put five. I don't know what, what is this? Oh, this is just like the gel preservative type gel. All right, so one. Uh, one. I'm gonna do it. Okay, two, three, four, and two. then five. All right, put them in there, baby. Two, three. Four, five. All right, now let's put the put the cap on. Can we shake a little bit? Hold on. It says put the cap on. Damn. And watch. So can we let the view watch? Yeah, they're watching with us. Ooh. You like you guys the, um, see at the top? That's spring. That sprinkles. Yeah, it's starting to get foamy at the top. And look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Yeah. There's there's some. Then seven. Ooh. They look like bath bombs. It it does remind you of a bath bomb. That's kind of what those foaming agents do. They create foam. So this is like. Don't spill it. Um, I put the cap on really tight. I want to try. Wow. Yeah, they're still dissolving. So we're going to let them dissolve a little bit more. We're going to pause the video for a few minutes and just let it dissolve a little bit more. Okay, guys. So there's some bubbles coming out of here. Yeah, it's going up and down like a real lava lamp does. Yeah, it looks like, um, like, um, it just reminds me of, like, a waterfall, like, the bubbles go down and up. Yeah, so it has the same effect as, like, a lava lamp, where the lava lamp makes bubbles and it goes up over and over again. That's exactly what these foaming agent tablets are doing. It's making it go up over and over. But so, I think our first project was a success. We no. made a real lava lamp. No, it's not done. We have to use the spoon. Well, honey, the spoon was just like to assist you pouring the stuff and everything. But we, yeah, we don't need to stick the spoon in there. See, the foaming agents aren't even totally dissolved. So it's going to keep making this effect over and over until they're totally dissolved. Until it's going to keep making that, that lava lamp effect. You see? So Groovy. now, now we're going to pause it. Groovy. <sighs> no, what are you doing? So no, we're done with this video. We can we'll, we can do one more experiment, but we'll make it a separate video. So I think. What do you think? The lava lamp was um, a success, right? It's not done. 
into his completely dissolved. Well, it's going to take a very long time for these things to completely dissolve because the idea of this is to give you the effects of a lava lamp. Oh, how so it's, it's moving up. So it's going to take a very long time for all of these tablets to dissolve. Mm. So your homemade lava lamp is going to last for a pretty good time. No, it's so going no, it's going to be like 24 hours or even more. So thank you guys for tuning in for our um our first review of the Breaky Beaker Science Kit and our first experiment was the homemade lava lamp and it was uh, a success. And guess what? I'm going to go get something to say, to somebody say hi, to someone say bye. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. No, this is Books World, and we are going to put this on my video. Okay, like bye. and subscribe. I'm gonna do it. Okay, bye.